Let me explain today uh, competitive and uh, non-competitive inhibitors in relation with uh, line weaver work plot. Okay, so I have already drawn a line weaver work plot here. So in the line weaver work plot, x-axis is indicating 1 over substrate concentration, y-axis indicates 1 over initial velocity, and then the reaction velocity of the uh, reaction velocity curve, which is a straight line and falling on to y-axis, wherever it touches y-axis, that particular point, I have said, it is 1 over Vmax. It is there in my previous video. And if you elongate that line and make it meet over x-axis on the other side of 0, that particular point, we, I refer it as minus 1 over Km. Okay. Now, competitive inhibitor. Competitive inhibitor is a substrate analog. What it does, it's going to compete with the substrate. By competing with the substrate, it is basically if the inhibitor binds to active side of an enzyme, so there is no reaction going on, or if the substrate binds, there is a reaction going on. Okay. So with this kind of kinetics, where the competitive inhibitor being a substrate analog competing with the substrate, how it's going to change some of the kinetics of an enzyme? If if you if we want to depict here in terms of line weaver per plot. So you are going to get a reaction velocity of the curve for in the presence of competitive inhibitor will be something like this. Line will be like this, although it is not an exact straight line. So you get an exact straight line something like this. It is meeting on the same point. So it is meeting on the same Vmax here. And whereas the Km is going towards zero. It's new now your new Km in the presence of competitive inhibitor competitive inhibitor in the presence of competitive inhibitor so your km changes km of an enzyme changes it is going towards zero and note that anything that go, goes towards zero in the x axis it indicates that there is increase in the km this is increase in the km because the values are going towards zero because it's a reciprocal value any value that is going towards zero in, in reciprocals, so it means it is increasing the Km. So what your competitive inhibitor is doing to an enzyme catalyzed reaction is, it is increasing the Km of an enzyme so that more substrate is provided to reach the same maximum velocity. Because there is a competition here, so in order to overcome the competition, you need to provide more substrate to reach the same maximum velocity. In doing so, there is increase in the Km because you are providing more substrate to reach there. That is what is competitive inhibitor doing. Now let's see what non-competitive inhibitor does. Non-competitive inhibitor is not a structural analog. There is no competition there. It's going to bind to other site other than the active site. By binding to other site other than the active site, it's going to change the conformation of an active site. Thereby, substrate is not fitted well. Because of this improper fitting what happens, reaction velocity decreases. So the affinity of an enzyme to bind with the substrate is normal. Only thing it is not fitting well. Because of this what happens? So the Km remains same but enzyme velocity decreases. So if you plot that here in the line weaver bar plot, so Km remains same but reaction velocity is decreased. This is how you are going to get. So your, your Vmax here, see this is the 1 over Vmax in the presence of non-competitive inhibitor. Now we are talking about non-competitive inhibitor. Non-competitive inhibitor. So in the presence of non-competitive inhibitor, velo maximum velocity of the reaction is decreased because your 1 over Vmax here, it is going away from 0. It is 1 over Vmax. Anything that is in reciprocal, if it is going away from 0, it means value is decreased. Okay? It means non-competitive inhibitor decreases the maximum velocity, but Km remains the same. Okay? And that is how it is depicted. So, I will write it here. Competitive, competitive increases Km, velocity is Vmax, is same. Whereas non-competitive Km is same, Km is same, Vmax 
decreased. These are the characteristics for competitive and non-competitive inhibitor. Now let's do some problems using competitive and non-competitive inhibitor. So I have already given this is uh, 6 value 6 here and we max say if it is 2. This value is 2 and say this is 4 here. Now let's calculate what is the KM and Vmax in the presence of competitive or non-competitive inhibitor. And note that I am asking KM and Vmax. I am not asking you minus 1 over KM and 1 over Vmax. Whatever the values that you are seeing here, this 2 is 1 over Vmax. And this 4 is 1 over Vmax. And here minus 1 over KM. This is minus 1 over KM. That is minus 6. Minus 1 over KM is minus 2 here. What I am asking in the question is I want to know what is Vmax and what is KM. Okay. In order to do that, so let's do that for competitive inhibition. So the competitive inhibition minus 1 over KM minus 1 over KM equals minus 2. Minus 1 over KM is minus 2 here. Minus minus cancelled. 1 over KM equals 2. Now the KM equals 1 over 2 and that 1 over 2 is 0.5. This is the 0.5. KM 0.5 in the presence of competitive inhibitor. Now let's see what is the velocity in the presence of competitive inhibitor. So going with this 1 over Vmax equals 2. Now the Vmax equals 1 over 2 and that will be 0.5 again. 0 0.5. This is how you need to simplify. So when the Vmax and Kms are asked you need to know whatever the points that you are seeing here that is a reciprocal minus 6 here is a minus 1 equals minus 1 over km. So, you need to simplify that so that you get a km value. Same thing for Vmax. Whatever the number you see and that is 1 over Vmax. In order to simplify that, you need to do this and get Vmax. Same thing you can do it for non-competitive inhibitor. So, for non-competitive inhibitor, km minus 1 over km equals to minus 6. So, let me do that here again. Minus 1 over Km equals minus 6. So, 1 over Km equals just 6 because minus minus cancelled. Km equals 1 over 6. Okay. So, if I do simplification, so it will be 0 0.1 something. Okay. So, that's, so it will be 1 over 6 there. Now, in the same way, 1 over Vmax. So, 1 over Vmax equals 4 there. 4. So, Vmax equals 1 over 4. So, we need to simplify that. So, that will be 0.25. Okay. So, like this you can calculate Km and Vmax by looking at the line viewer work plot and simply remember they are all reciprocal values and you need to simplify them. Thank you.